So, yesterday's video on my FreeBSD challenge was all about my desktop. So I think today's update challenge should be about my laptop, since I'm going to be in a position where I'll be using it exclusively for the next day or so. But also, there's a lot of things that are quite interesting that are specific to BSD on laptops. So, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about day two of my FreeBSD challenge and how FreeBSD works on my laptop, right now on the Linux lounge. So indeed, today I'm going to be talking about my experience using FreeBSD on my laptop. The laptop that I use on a daily basis is thankfully one that is very well supported on FreeBSD and is also very much favoured by the free and open source community. And that laptop is the ThinkPad X220. If you're interested as to what my specs are, I have them on screen now. Without repeating what I said yesterday, I can say that the installation process was once again very successful on my laptop, much like it was on my desktop, although many of the problems that I had on my desktop also persisted on my laptop. For example, much like my desktop, my laptop had no Bluetooth support under FreeBSD, and it also has the same issues with USB that my desktop has. As well as that, it has some unique hardware issues. For example, the touchpad driver isn't very good. The touchpad itself works, and so does two finger scrolling and other things like that, however the middle mouse button can't actually be used to scroll, which is annoying and makes the track point on the laptop very hard to use. However, it wouldn't be fair if we only talked about what FreeBSD doesn't support in terms of my hardware, because the hardware support on my laptop is actually very impressive even despite those shortcomings. For example, all of the major components of my laptop do indeed work. That includes the Wi-Fi, which I am glad because that's an essential feature on a laptop. Even more impressively though, my laptop actually supports a lot of ThinkPad specific things. So for example, the ThinkPad UltraBase works perfectly under FreeBSD. So all in all, the hardware support on my ThinkPad X220 is very impressive and I definitely consider it daily driver material in that regard. So with all that said, how is the experience using my laptop with BSD? Well, I have to say it's actually incredibly impressive. BSD runs really well on the lower end hardware of my laptop, maybe even better than Linux. In fact, I never mentioned it, but the review of the Hummer project I have on my channel was actually made on my laptop running FreeBSD, which I found to be incredibly impressive that it could do that with such low end hardware. Something else that I found quite impressive too is that the battery in my laptop lasts fairly well under FreeBSD. Given the laptop's age, it's hardly the best battery life in the world. However, I don't think the battery is any worse on FreeBSD. All in all, the software experience on my laptop is pretty good under FreeBSD. So in conclusion, as it ends up, FreeBSD is a very good operating system for getting stuff done on my laptop, and to be honest, I don't actually have a lot to say about it, and that's a good thing. It can do everything that I want to do on my laptop with ease. I can browse the web, make documents, consume media, make videos, and more. It's pretty cool being able to take my FreeBSD experience with me wherever I might want to go with full hardware support. So I'm going to go out and say it right now. It might be a little bit presumptuous of me, but I think FreeBSD is absolutely daily driver ready on my laptop, and I think I'm going to be keeping it on there for quite a long time into the future. Performs great, does everything I want it to, and it's overall just a good experience. Maybe my opinion on that will change over the next few days but I really hope not because so far I'm quite enjoying my free BSD experience but with that said I will see you tomorrow for another update as to how I'm getting on with BSD thanks for watching